My name is Chiang Kok Choi. I had my teacher training from the Malayan Teachers Training College, Kirkby, Liverpool, England. And my option subject was woodwork. These are the products that I made. These are Tai Chi swords, shoe horns, toe stones, mm -hmm. massage sticks, scalp knives, letter openers, durian openers, mallets, frame for beadwork, book rack, tea preparation set, tablet stand, hairpins, keychain, uh, crosses, picture frame stand, magnets, stool, and uh, book rack. Uh, before that, I want to show you uh, marking the space for the lamination of the handle. This is a tri-square and then I've already measured about 4 inches then I square round like this. So from, and then I will have another space for the guard and I square round also using the tri-square. Then, I have marked a curve here for the blade. Now I'm going to saw this part and round it off. So you see, this is the curve. I must make shape with a little bit of chiseling. This is a chisel. There you are. Rough shape. I'm going to gauge the thing from here because I'm going to plane this part and this part to make it like a knife. So I'm going to get a center of the wood Can you see the line there, you see? There. Okay. Now we're cleaning. Hand drilling a hole. There you are. Then, I put a pack through it. Then, now I'm going to plane the blade. Then I'm going to play the other side. So now I'm going to show you how I make this curve. Okay. So now I'm chiseling. The shape is coming up. Now I use a spook shape to smoothen it. There you are. The shape coming up. Alright, then I do the other side. This is the finished product. Then the, I use a spoke shape to round the thing. This side was not very round. Then I use a sandpaper with a sandpapering block. Then I smoothen the surface.
uh, two pieces of wood to laminate the handle. First of all, I use a piece of wood from the orange box from China. You see, I've marked already. These two pieces will be here and here. Now I'm sure I'm going to show you how I cut this piece. I want this piece and this piece. So now I've got these two pieces for laminating the handle. So now I'm going to show you how to make the guard where it goes into here. First of all, I get a piece of wood like this. Then I put this one in the center and mark it. And make sure that it is in the center. Then I use a marking gauge where I have I got to gauge a line here for the width of the mortise. This, this is called a mortise, the hole. Right? This is how I do it. You see? From here. I make a line. You see the line? Then I can make the line here. Can you see? Then I do it for the bottom. Now I want to show you how I make the mortise. Again, you use a chisel and a mallet. it all over here and then I turn it over and then do the other side. That's the whole. In, now I've got to shape this one around. So I use a template, put it there and mark. four sides. Okay. So one here. Then I will sort off as much of the wood as possible. Now chiseling. Rough curve to take as much of the waste wood as possible coming to shape smoother curve then I finish it off with the spoke shape Only a spoke shape can make it smooth and round. The chiseling cannot. It's taking shape. And then I do the other one. In the end, I have this. pieces and then I have this yeah now I want to show you gumming these two pieces of wood onto the handle now I use wood glue so I mark here A A1 A1 this way putting the gum onto the wood this uh, wood gum
I've got to plane this one and this one to make it even. Try square here. So you must make sure that it's 90 degrees. Alright? When you plane the other side, you must flip it over. Curve a little bit and then curve a little bit. These three pieces must be the same level. So actually, now the next stage is to sandpaper the whole thing. dry before I, I do the, the handle part. Later on, I make a sheath for it from artificial leather. This jack plane was brought back by me from England in 1959. This handsaw belonged to my father and now I'm 82 years old. Thank you for watching.